Impactful infographics have traditionally been very hard to create. This is all changed now with the release of Gemini 3 and Nano Banana Pro. With these tools, you can create beautiful infographics in two different ways. The first is by handing creative control over to Nano Banana using detail prompts. And the second is to provide Nano Banana with references to start off with. I'm gonna go through both ways in this video. So let's head over to Gemini now and I'm gonna show you how to create infographics with Nano Banana Pro. To use Nano Banana Pro in the Gemini app, you wanna make sure that thinking is on which selects Gemini 3. Then you can either click this create image or you can select it from tools, which is also create image. For our first image, what I'm gonna do is I wanna create an image displaying a career retrospective of Anthony Joshua's major world title fights in the style of Mike Tyson's punch out. And what this is looking to do is to see if Gemini can distinguish what the major title fights are. So in Anthony Joshua's career, there was a couple of major title fights. When he won the title for the first time, the Anthony Ruiz fights, the Uzik fights, and and probably the Klitschko fights. And I wanna see if it can get those and only those onto a visualization. So this is the Mike Tyson punch out aesthetic. So I just also wanna see if Gemini is gonna follow that. So I just click submit and then this will go off and think about creating the image and then it will create the image. And this is the image that has been created. So you can see that it's got the aesthetic right. It's also got the text right for everything, the results right. And it's picked the major fights of his career and it's included uh, Tony Parker as well, which is another major fight. Only one thing it's got wrong here is that there's two Uzik one fights but everything else is perfect and really good to kind of create these fun infographics for more of a professional look I'm looking now to get an infographic of Google's quarter three FY26 earnings broken down by business area with year-on-year -year comparisons Google search to get the figures and I'm gonna add a reference for a design so I have an infographic that I like but you can use any image you like for this and I've stuck that in there as just a reference point of what I'm looking to get out on this infographic. So you can see this infographic here, it's a really nice infographic from the CSO. I'm just looking for kind of the splits here and kind of the aesthetic of this with the Google earnings. And this is what it's come out with. So it's very close to the aesthetic, probably a bit cartoony for me, and maybe the, the colors, especially for the title, aren't great. I'd also like to see a Google logo. And with Nano Banana, what you can do is you can go in and make edits to these infographics in the prompt. So I've gone down here and I've just asked it to add the Google logo, make the image more professional by sharpening the text, and to turn the background white. So I'm gonna submit this prompt, and this is now thinking about what it needs to do, and it will come up with a replacement image that looks a lot better. Now I've checked all these figures, and these figures are on the money, so a really nice infographic here created in a matter of minutes. Last thing I wanna do is just wanna show you bringing your own data to a visualization. So I want to create a scrum board in this last example uh, for my dashboard project, and I'm gonna give it the full details in CSV. The reason why this is extremely useful because that is a lot of dense data and I want to get it on a understandable structure that I can share out with the team. I've actually used this at work myself. So what the model has come out with here is just kind of a report format visualized list, which is not really what I'm looking for. So I can just tell the model to make an image. And when it makes the image, it thinks about what a scrum board is. And then this is my scrum board here which you can agree looks really good. Uh, and it's taken all that dense CSV data and gotten that down to a really nice visualization, which I can share out with the team. I've really enjoyed playing with this model over the last couple of weeks, and I'm really excited to see what other use cases I can pull out of it. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.